Hey, it's me, A. Oh, hi, um... Uh, wait, A? He's James, but I'm A. Like, the... just A, like the letter. I hoped audiences would come away from this film feeling um, inspired and hopeful for true love and finding a soulmate, and also um, having learnt that accepting people for who they express themselves as is so important in building healthy and strong relationships and, and finding peace in your family and your community. I loved that the movie was so colorblind and gender blind and culture blind and just was able to kind of really appreciate this person who finds, you know, the only continuity kind of in A's life is a soul and to be able to find and build that and really see each other and be seen was like a beautiful takeaway. A huge part of my identity is being a woman and that's really important for me and that's a big part of my self-expression so I think it's really interesting um, sort of exploring what it means if someone doesn't have that and if someone doesn't have a gender or a sexual orientation or a race or a physical identity what does that mean so it was really interesting for me to explore that and look at um, labels in a different sense and self-expression in in a different way it definitely deepened my appreciation for seeing people where they're at and looking past whatever people present with. And you know, there is such thing which is how we present ourselves is how we want to be seen. And so you definitely have to acknowledge how someone wants to kind of lead with who they are and what they're presenting physically. But to know that, yeah, I, I think it has definitely stayed with me. The idea of especially love and especially like around Valentine's Day mm -hmm. and being super aware of my relationship with my family and my friends and, you know, kind of reconnecting with Anne Gowrie and being able to just see people the way that they are and for that depth and that beauty has been really cool and it has stayed with me since every day. Maybe it would be fun if we just went somewhere. Like after school? Or even now. Is, is that something we do? Well, couldn't it be? <laughs> You can find love anywhere, it doesn't matter where. And Rhiannon is very, at the beginning of the film, she's set on the idea that her idea of love is being in love with a type. So she says, oh, my type is, you know, tall and slim and has nice shoulders. But at the end of the film, she learns that there is no such thing as having like a type. It's about finding love in unexpected places. And that's, and that's the beauty of it, I think. Yeah. yeah. Finding love in unexpected places is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And I think once you find it and you know that it's real and it's important, like knowing that it won't ever be easy, you know? None of us in our lives, at the best or worst case scenario, will probably ever have to experience this exact love story yeah. of having to like find someone and not know what it's gonna look like day to day. Um, but how much more does that emphasize being present, being super thankful for, yeah, like what it is and what it looks like. And once you find it in an unexpected place or wherever you find it, knowing that it is or is not worth fighting for. And, you know, I think choosing every single day is important. And that's something that really can transform the scope of what your love looks like. I've been thinking about this over and over and over. I'm always going to be blocking you from being with someone who's perfect for you. How can you say that? Because Alexander's perfect for you. He's your type. You are my type. She learns that for her there is no type and for there is no type of love. Um, love is going to be experienced so many different ways by so many different people and that's what makes it so special and, and unique. And that doesn't necessarily have to be classified by, by a type of person. Yeah, I think it's in this kind of scope and in this climate and with the conversations that we're finally able to have openly and candidly and that we're encouraged to kind of share and learn, um, I would say now in this culture and in this generation more than ever, it's really cool to choose like a type of love. And I for sure know that in the past eight years or whatever, since I've been like dating, um, I've 
more been attracted to a type of love, which is something that makes me feel free and something that makes me feel peaceful and secure. When you film a movie, you'll shoot a scene from the beginning of the film and then in the middle and then you'll go back to the beginning because um, it's all to do with location. You don't shoot it in order. And then once you add the extra challenge of having different people <laughs> playing the same person, it's kind of hard to get your head around the continuous story. But I think Michael, the director, you know, he always had a script with him and I always knew the order of the A's, so which A came next or was previous. Um, so. I think that was important in sort of maintaining that continuity. And also, all of the actors who played A were incredible, like incredibly talented and also really nice and welcoming. And that made it, that made it so easy.